This is Ross Miller with The Verge, and we're looking at the brand new Twitter for iPad. Okay, let's get the big change out of the way first. Version 5.0 nixes the sliding card interface altogether. And it's a shame, because we really thought of it as a clever use of the iPad screen. Instead, we've got what feels like an oversized version of the iPhone refresh. The left-hand menus have been simplified to fall in line with Twitter's other clients, Home, Connect, Discover, and of course your profile. The timeline is smooth and quick. While previously tapping a tweet would create a new card to the right, all that is now done from within the timeline itself. That's all well and good, but when you start opening links or tapping on hashtags, it now takes over the entire window. It's a really jarring experience. When moving from portrait to landscape, you really get a sense of the wasted screen space in the new redesign. Twitter did a great job of updating to include interactions and conversation threads, and the new profile pages are indeed very nice but we're still wondering why that couldn't have been incorporated into the sliding card interface itself. On the whole, the redesign falls in line with Twitter's new unified future, but in the process, the company is giving up a part of its past that really stood out. And in this case, dropping the cards really does feel a bit needless. 